It was just as hot in Queensland. Obnoxious flies kept bugging us for a while too. The further east we went, the bigger the trees were, the greener the surroundings became, and the whole area started looking more European. This made us very happy. When we got to the east coast, we realized that the flies were gone. Have you noticed? No flies. No flies, truly. Only one on this side. <laughs> yes, we're on the east coast and there are practically no flies here. This is great. We were very happy about this, but not for long. One evening we came across something very, very different. Good morning. Last night was the worst night of our trip. Because last night we were introduced to a new kind of... Uh, An animal. Australian monsters. Which are tiny and can squeeze, just squeeze uh, through the net into the tent. And we couldn't do anything about it. Such millimetric monsters. Like lice. Yes. Lice which can fly and bite. They bit us all over and we spent the whole night scratching. It's impossible to drive them out. It's worse than mosquitoes. Because a mosquito gets into our tent, you kill it and story. You can't do anything about this. There is a million of them here. Simply a million. Here are these bugs bite marks on my body. As you can see, there are at least 200 on my arm alone. So you can imagine how they beat us last night. Local people call these flies sand flies because they are as minuscule as sand. They are active all year round all on Australia's east coast, uh, biting all year round too. They live in humid places near trees, bushes where there is overgrowth. So try to avoid such places, they bite a lot. The next night we couldn't sleep well either because our whole bodies itched very, very much. We just couldn't fall asleep because of that. And even now we keep scratching. It's very unpleasant and pretty difficult. And even though these flies are tiny, one, two millimeter, they are very strong. They are immune to all kinds of repellents. They are not scared of anything and are only interested in biting, believe me. I should scratch less. Scratch less, I should. The locals said, do not scratch skin, it's very bad, it's impossible. And they laugh, laugh. No, it's possible, gish it. As it turned out, there are many travelers in Australia, and it's actually very nice. I wish we had as many of them in Ukraine. Every night we slept on one of those special grounds, free campings, and they were always full on the East Coast. Many people came in small cars, in bigger cars, in minivans. Some set up tents like us, some had big tents, because they were going to stay there for a couple of days with their families. Some even, there were such minivans, which had a special compartment on the top that you could sleep in. There were also cars with tents set up on top of them. We had never seen anything like that before. Having seen all of that, we can definitely say that Australians love traveling. Even if they stay within their own country, it's enough because Australia is mega big. We should be more like them, not to yawn and waste our time, but really travel and enjoy life. 
Even though there are many different campers in Australia that would uh, cater to any taste, from free to paid with all of necessary amenities, for us cyclists it's still a challenge. You understand yourselves that we are not uh, driving, we are moving along quite slowly and often we just have nowhere to stop. A lot of land is fenced away. The whole day you will be cycling along barbed uh, where fences protecting farmers' land and you simply can't set up a tent there. This is why it's so important to plan when and where we are going to stay. By the way, this app we got on our phone was very helpful with that. It's called Wikicamps Australia. It has pretty much all of the existing campings, from paid ones to simple meadows with no amenities. So we could uh, plan practically each of our nights. And then, on one beautiful day, we finally reached Brisbane. It's the first big city on our road in Australia. We hurried here because local Ukrainians invited us to celebrate the Day of Ukrainian Radio. This turned out to be a great crowd. We made it to the Day of Ukrainian Radio here in Brisbane, ate vareniki, met a lot of Ukrainians and were given place to stay by a local church. It's a room with a kitchen, a toilet, a bathroom, everything you need for a living. We are very grateful and happy to have gotten an opportunity to spend at least some time in comfort, especially thinking about those horrible flies in Northern Territory and those bugs on the coast that bit us so bad. Here we feel great and we even had a chance to make the runy. We are now eating them with sour cream, as if in Ukraine. Let me tell you, Brisbane is a cyclist heaven. There is everything for cyclists here, bike paths uh, throughout the city. When we first got here, we had to cycle for 20 kilometers to get to the house of the Ukrainians who were hosting us, and it was amazing. Imagine cycling, no traffic, nothing is pressuring you. Uh, you are often surrounded by nature, greenery, parks. Cycling here is pure pleasure. The bike pass led us through a park. Here is some fitness equipment, so we... I have decided to work on my love handles a bit. There is still one thing more pleasant than cycling, though... It's Deruni. Oh. 